happen that was about to impact the lives of each and every person in this room. It happened in a conference hall in New York City. In that conference hall, right in the middle, there was a chessboard. To the right of the chessboard, there was a guy called Murray Campbell, who was an IBM technician, and to his right was a screen that was connected onto a computer that was an artificial intelligence computer called Deep Blue. Opposite Murray Campbell and Deep Blue, and to the left of the chessboard, there was perhaps the best ever chess player that the world has witnessed. This player, from 1986 until his retirement in 2005, he was rated number one for 225 months out of the 228. And that person, my dear friends, was none other than Gary Kasparov. During that day, Kasparov had a lot of attendance, like this one here, and there was a lot of media frenzy. And the reason for that media frenzy wasn't because so much the best chess player in the world was playing, but it was because human was going against artificial intelligence, man against machine. The game started very brightly, and Gaspar made an excellent move called the King's Indian Attack, which landed him the first game. But as time progressed, Kasparov lost the second game, and with it, he lost his concentration. By his own admittance, Kasparov said, unlike most of my opponents, I couldn't read the body language, and I couldn't sense the fear, because there was none, to be honest. The next three games were a draw, and in one of those games, someone overheard Kasparov saying, I'm not afraid to admit that I'm afraid. And in the last crucial game, the sixth game, the most important game, what you now see on your screen has happened. Kasparov made a fatal error, made a fatal move, which had the audience gasping, the audience gasping in disbelief. They couldn't believe that a chess master, the likes of Kasparov, could have made that wrong move. Kasparov lost the game with only 19 moves into the sixth game, and he lost also his crown. It was the first time in real time that machines could do the complex cognitive tasks associated with our human big brains. And Kasparov felt a bit humiliated, embarrassed. He lost his crown, and if you see his body language walking down from the stage, he was also a bit upset. I don't know if because his mother was in the audience, but that's one of the reasons he was upset, as they say. And whilst licking his wounds, Kasparov saw inspiration in Deep Blue. In his own words, he said, if you cannot beat them, join them. Where, where humans bring creativity, computers bring combinational power. When humans bring strategy, computers bring tactics. And when humans bring experience, computer brings memory. And it was at that time that Centaur Chess was born. Centaur, from the Greek mythical character Centaur, who was half horse, half man. According to Kasparov and the other chess masters, when you pair up with an artificial intelligence computer, your own performance can surely enhance. All chess masters threw away their playbooks and they started working side by side with artificial intelligence. And the statistics have shown a human working with artificial intelligence can beat any other human any teams of human, or any artificial intelligence computer working on its own. For Kasparov, my dear friends, it wasn't humans versus artificial intelligence, it was humans and artificial intelligence. 